Hey everyone, welcome to another video by Simply Learn. In this video, we will create a website using WordPress. WordPress is perhaps the easiest way to build a website, especially when compared to thousands of lines of code. If you wish to write blogs or showcase your photography skills, WordPress offers several amazing templates and features. But before starting off with WordPress, let's go ahead and go through a few pointers that we need to keep in mind for developing and launching our website on the internet. First, domain name. This is the URL that a user types on the address bar to reach a particular website. For example, WordPress has the domain name www.wordpress.com, Google has a domain name www.google.com, and etc. Second, hosting. This is done by a computer and server that keeps running 24-7. All the data of our website stays in that server. Without hosting, users can reach the website but won't be able to see anything since data won't be stored anywhere. Third, website. This is the part that we'll be working on in this video. And clearly, we are using WordPress for building the website. Now that you are familiar with the process of building and launching a website on the internet, let's now start building one using WordPress. Now the first step is creating an account on the WordPress.com using email and password. I have already created an account on WordPress, so I'll just log into my account. Click on the Create Site button on the screen. WordPress has its own custom setup that guides us through initial setup of the website. The first step, get a domain for our website. So let's enter a domain name, say my website. You can change it anytime you like. We are presented with multiple options, domains that end with .com and other similar options usually are chargeable. So for now, let's get the free option that has WordPress appended to its name. We'll go ahead and select that. WordPress again reminds us that we need to buy a custom domain name for a website in order to launch it properly on the internet. Now, WordPress offers several templates to choose from. You can choose the one that suits your needs. Click on continue once chosen. While choosing a plan, click on the free version that helps you build simple websites quickly. Now, WordPress performs several operations behind the scenes and a dashboard is presented on the web page. You may notice the custom domain name in the address bar that starts with my website. There are a few things that we need to do in order to complete the initial setup. But don't worry, WordPress guides us through the whole initial process. First step is to update the home page. Clicking on this button opens your website editable mode, meaning that you can change every element in the website. For now, let's just change the banner text. We'll dive into more customizations later on. Also, go ahead, confirm your mail ID for security purposes. Step is to customize the menu. You can change the name for the option shown in the navigation bar. I'm changing it to Explore and About Me. You can also add pages, which we'll see later in the video. There are many sections in the sidebar of the dashboard. Many of those sections are not relevant for this tutorial, since they are focused on advanced feature. While in this video, we are building along with a starter's website. 
although we will need to use some of the sections and we will go into that in a minute. You change the theme of the website. For that, we can go to the appearance section and choose any theme we like from a large variety of free themes available for the website. Although we have chosen one already, if you change your mind, you can go ahead and change the theme. Next, let's check out the pages section. This section contains all the pages used on a website. We can edit these pages just by clicking on the names and a separate window opens in which we can realign, delete or add sections and basically every element of that web page. We can then either preview the changes or update them so they reflect on the website. Now we also have an option to add a new page within the pages section. When you click that button, a new browser window opens, which presents the template of many kinds of pages that we might want to add to a website. I'll choose a simple contact us page. So just choose a contact page and that will get added to our website. We can link to that web page by editing the website and going into the menu section. Now the website settings also contain several sections in order to edit the aspects of the website. One of them is the menu section that we use to link all the pages within our website. And we do the exact same thing in this case in order to add the contact page to the website and add a link to it in the menu section of the website. We can also edit the website background and colors to our linking, add or delete website logo, also, add additional CSS whenever needed. Let's go back to the admin section and see what the plugin section has to offer. There are some really nice third party plugins that offer a lot more functionality than what vanilla WordPress tends to provide. The thing here is that we are using WordPress.com and in this version of the website, plugins can only be installed if you are subscribed for a business account. There is also a WordPress ORG version that offers plugins without any extra cost but it is mostly focused on professional blogs and has a complicated initial setup. And the last section that we dive into is the users section. It shows the list of all the users added to a particular website. There are a few settings available for customizing the user properties. Lastly, if we want to delete a website, we can do so by going over to settings and clicking on delete website. Since this task is irreversible, WordPress gives several warnings and confirmations before deleting a website from its server. So there you go, you just built your own website without a line of code. All thanks to WordPress and its intuitive user interface and website builder. Keep in mind that we still have to pay for a custom domain and a hosting server in order to launch a newly created blog on the internet. In case this tutorial entices you to get your hands dirty with web development, we have a whole YouTube playlist on React and Angular JavaScript framework that can help you in developing fancy web applications. And with that, we have reached the end of this video. Hope you liked it. Think we missed anything important? Let us know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.